What's up, guys? You're back with Game 2 Real. Turn this music off. Back with Game 2 Real. Um, no more farming on this page, man. We're, uh, we're going to be doing repos from here on out. <clears throat> I got a new yard. Got some new buildings built on my land. So, uh, yeah, man, let's get back into it. I just finished dinner here at this uh, diner over here by the gas station. I'm uh, actually... Let's see. Got my clipboard here. So, uh, we got a repo. The debtor's name is uh, Mark Summers. He has a red 2014 Lizard pickup. Uh, it looks like he took out a loan from the bank. About $55,000 loan for what the truck is worth. Uh, he currently still owes 28000 on the vehicle. And he is behind a whopping $3,500. Uh, monthly payments were set at $560 a month. We are to pick up and hold this vehicle at our facility to the bank gives us further notice. So, uh, like I say, we're staged here at the gas station. And uh, the guy actually lives right around the corner, so we're going to see if we can pull up and see if he's at home. He should be at home. It's about almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so pretty sure he's home. He's a farmer, so don't think he's doing any work tonight this early he may be getting up in the next three hours or so so we're gonna go ahead and hit him pretty quick here uh we don't have a trailer nor do we have a tow truck so we're gonna we're gonna go spot the vehicle first see if he's there and if he's there we're gonna run back by the yard you guys get a chance to see my new yard and uh grab our trailer and come back and pick it up see, uh, looks like i see it already this is his address here Looks like that's it. I'm gonna park up here. Turn his neighbors. I'm gonna jump out and uh, we're gonna see if we can check the VIN number just to make sure this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it though. Uh, yep, that's definitely it. So let's uh, get out of here before he sees us. Jump back in the truck and we're gonna go grab the trailer. Um, the reason why I'm doing repos instead of farming is, uh, I don't know, farming is just not my thing. <laughs> um, repoing and towing is definitely my thing. Transport, I've been doing it for years, so uh, why not get back into it, right? Good thing about this is our yard is not too far from town, so really any repos that we do, turn back there. Any repos that we do do. Gotta come here and turn around. Shit. Um, yeah, any repos that we do do, they're not too far from home base. So, we're literally like right in the middle of the map. In between the city and the country. bank that we're doing this uh, this account for it's called One Loan Financial they're here in town I went the wrong way again <laughs> trying to find where my yard is this is a new yard, we moved, we were closer to town but uh yeah, unfortunate circumstances kind of forced us to move I say the whole farming thing I was on an actual farm so uh, I'm not farming uh, I can't I mean not that I can't do it it's just I don't, I don't want to I guess you say um, yeah hope you guys enjoy these videos uh, these repos there's a lot of I have a lot of accounts so I got a lot of repos out we also have two forklifts that we're picking up from the biogas plant <clears throat> it was actually right behind actually right over there Oh shit, actually, let me back up. Shit, that's one of the forklifts we're supposed to be picking up right there. Oh, that's great. Let's jump out and see if we can spot the other one. But I'm supposed to be picking up two forklifts. That's one of them there. Is that another one? No, I don't see the other one. I see one right there. What the 
is that other forklift at? Even that one's kind of hitting well. Uh, we'll drive around the property when we get here. At least we got one spotted, so we know where one is at. Uh, we have keys for them, so that's a good thing. Let's, uh, let's get to the yard and get this truck picked up before this guy wakes up. Um, good thing about this account, they have spare keys. And I love that about repos. Like, if you're going to send me out on a repo, please, please, please have a spare key made. I mean, it makes things so much easier. It makes things just that much easier. Um, Alright, this is a new town. I'm lost. Uh, let me see where I'm at. Okay, there we are. Gotta hurry up. Oh, that's a nice rig. That's a really nice big rig. Like, all right, guys. Sorry about that, guys. We gotta turn around again. This is like, I'm taking a totally different route. I've never came this way before, so. I'm getting a little bit lost here. I'm gonna have to pass you because you're going too slow. Way too slow. And this is my turn. So, get this pickup picked up. This forklift's picked up. And we'll call it a day or night or morning, whatever. Holy shit. Well. And, uh, here's the New York. Open the gate up, get in here. take this trailer here. Might as well, it's already up. Um, actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick up the truck with this trailer. Um, we'll come back. I'll drop the trailer with the truck still on it. Grab my 22-foot trailer, because this is a 20-foot gooseneck. I got two 22-foot goosenecks also over there in the garage. Um, so we'll grab one of those to go get those forklifts because those are some heavy sons. Alright, we're all hooked up. Let's go get that pickup. Then uh, once we get these all uh, picked up and dropped off, we'll, uh, I'll give you guys a little tour of the new yard here. Uh, we should have some daylight by then, hopefully. And I got these nice floodlights all around the property. All around the property, I got these floodlights. So it's easy to see around here at night. You can't sneak on this yard and try to steal your car, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna see you coming from a mile away over here. All right, let's go get this uh, tow truck. I mean, uh, this pickup truck. This guy still owes, or he's 3,500 bucks behind. Like, I don't understand, if you can't afford it, by all means, don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Don't go and finance a vehicle or equipment and you know you're not going to afford it. I mean, to trust me, I totally understand times get rough, you know, hard times, yeah. But when those times get rough and, you know, it gets that way, be in contact with the bank, man. Call the bank. Don't try to hide the vehicle, you know. Don't give old addresses. And not to mention this guy, he gave an old address when he financed his vehicle. So that just goes to show you he's already planning on renting. You know what I mean? He's already planning on, you know, possibly getting behind. And once he does, he's not going to, you know, he's not going to contact the bank and talk to him. He's not going to answer the phone calls. He's not, you know, he's just going to rent. And... Those are the people I don't like. Take care of your business. 
handle your business, talk to the bank, tell them, hey, you know what, hard times, business is slow, uh, you know what I mean, I, I just, I can't right now, but hey, this is all I got, or I'll have this at this day, you know, talk to them, that's all they want, talk to them, and worst comes to worst, they'll just, you know, send me out to come get it, but at least it doesn't look bad on your end, you're hiding and running and not answering their calls, that's the last thing you want to do. from here so we're gonna what we're gonna do is since I have keys I am actually no, I'm gonna park here I'm gonna park down by his old address <laughs> then I'm gonna walk back jump in grab it and we're gone on to the next and you'll see how quickly I get these repos done um, not to mention, I do this in real life, so it's, it's a lot quicker, actually. I'm going to go ahead and unfold our trailer, hit the lights, leave the truck running, jump out. Trailer's ready. Got the keys. Yes, I got the keys. Gonna come right up here. And take a casual little stroll down the street. Checking everything out, making sure no one's outside. Looks like we're good. We're gonna go ahead and grab this thing. Looks like someone's in the bathroom. That might be him. Okay, we're in here. Damn, it's a nice truck. Holy sheesh, this is a nice truck. Alright, let's see. wheels it's like did he put rims on his work truck really i mean it looks good it looks oh shit what do i do okay yeah, it looks really good actually yeah it's a nice truck easy pull up there Before he realizes anything just happened. And we're off. We got that lizard pickup picked up. And we're out of here. Yeah, by the way, his old address is that house right there. Right on the other side of the house right there. That's his old house. So he was like he literally moved around the corner. And just like I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. That, that's ridiculous. You move around the corner and you give the bank your old address, you know, in hopes of, I don't know, throwing them off their game because you're going to send out a repo and he's going to go to your old address and you think we're not going to scout the whole neighborhood. Like, come on now. You send me on an address, on my way out to that address, I'm scouting every neighborhood before I even get to the neighborhood you live in. You know what I mean? So, I'm looking at parking lots of grocery stores looking for my vehicle I'm looking in the mall parking lots you know all the businesses surrounding the neighborhood that I'm going to so it's kind of hard to hide your vehicle for me at least I don't know about other repo companies but yeah for a quick tone recovery I'm gonna find you these new lizard gooseneck trailers I really do I really love them this is the 20 foot one the 22 foot is just as beautiful I love it I have what one two three about three of them thinking about buying another one why I don't know I just like them that much <laughs>
I, I do that all the time. But uh, I, I didn't miss my turn on accident this time. I missed my turn on purpose, just in case we're being followed. 